Okay, shalom, shalom. Form yashallah. Get here. Call hello, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachach Badash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water for the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Zachanan, Nawach is coming at you with another quick, quick lesson. Pray that it's edifying by the Spirit. And um, just wanted to just touch on, you know, Esau, Edom, the so called white man, and how they're falling within their own kingdom. Now, I'm driving right now, so I, you know, won't be able to do nothing but roughly paraphrase scriptures, but, you know, I was just with this, um, you know, I got this Edomite partner or whatever, you know, at the, at the plantation and just dropped him off to go and do something. So, you know, I figured I'd do this quick little lesson and, you know, we was kicking it. You know, he, he, he's an older, he's an older Edomite. So he, he remembered what America was like before. He remembered the old days, you know. And, you know, he's sitting there and he's telling me about how he's worried about his grandchildren and he had put some money away for him and that he's, inflation is just eating it up. He's talking about his, his taxes, you know, because he's actually retired, but he's working at this job with me. <laughs> and he was like, you know, I actually really need the money. He's like, just to be honest, I really need the money, you know, but he's an older Edomite. You know, he got a nice little crib on the river, you know, and little shit like that. But it didn't work out like how he thought it was going to work out. You know, and that's all praises to you. How about Shimei? I was shy for that, man, because we pray for the downfall of Esau, Edom, and his race, man, and his kingdom, man. And, you know, he's talking about the future and all this stuff. Now, he knows about, um, he believes in that mark of the beast of that, that MOTB, that, that he believes in that grain of rice they want to put in you. He, he talks about that. So, he, he, you know, he believes it. He just has no idea as to how it's going to come, what it's going to be like. And he's thinking about his, his grandchildren. He has no idea that his grandchildren have no future. You know, he just wasn't, you know, I was kind of kicking it with him a little bit. I don't be going too far with him. But, you know, we, we talk, you know, we listen to the talk radio and all these things that's going on. Talk about Russia and Ukraine. And, you know, he, he you know, he, he, belie he believes that there's an elite that are up top that are, you know, designing things. He just don't understand that it's his people. You know, and, and that these things must come to pass. He, he kind of, he's more optimistic, like, you know, well, maybe things are coming. No, things are not. I keep, I be telling them, like, nah, I don't, you know, in so many words, America's not coming back, man. You're either going to accept what they have for you or you're going to be an outcast. And, and what they have for you is that MOTB. And I was watching the brother from Mississippi earlier, um, which was a uh, you know he had pulled up that cell therapy, that that um that video by Goody Mob back in the days. I remember that, and how they was talking about the MOTB and that song, and a lot of rappers back in the '90s. You see, rap back in the '90s, it was a little bit more informational. You know, you could get information. See, the, the, that was like your your you know your ear to the street as far as um, street news. You see, now it's just a bunch of bullshit. You know. And Esau Edom set it up that way. Like, you know, they, they went from so-called black conscious. Because, you know, he, you know, it was a little more of loving your community, so to speak. You know, back in the 90s with a lot of the boom bap rap and stuff like that. But it was more information to those particular songs, you know, at that particular time. But now, like I said, you know, Esau Edom, especially the small hatters, you know, put Jake out here to do all this wicked-ass, murderous-ass music, man. And... Or this thought music and got our people even more destroyed, man. They don't want you to have any type of information. See, they're going to keep you dumbed down. And they generally use our people to dumb us down. You see? But, yeah, I just wanted to just speak on that real quick. I just dropped him off. So I was like, you know, and just hearing him. Because I'm kind of, you know, giggling <laughs> the way he's talking about it. Because he's really worried. Like, I'm, you know, I got grandbabies and they're older now. You know, they're... You know, one of them is just about to drive and, you know, got her, you know, you know, he's just, he was just kind of sounding pitiful about it. But I'm like, man, yeah, you're a two-time loser, man, in your own kingdom because he's talking about um, going ahead and, I guess, fully retiring, I think, in a few months from what he's saying and just kind of living off his, um, you know, his little pension or whatever, whatever. But, you know, he, you know, he's like that 
he's blowing through what he had. You see what I'm saying? So it's not look, it's not a good look for him. You know, and he was telling me about the taxes, like, oh man, I owe, you know, he <laughs> he owed a few grand on his taxes and all that other stuff. So, you know, it's just not looking good for him. And then another thing too that was funny, he was telling me about yesterday. And um he was like, Yeah, I don't want to sound racist. But yeah, I was up at you know the pharmacy and I'm picking up my pills. You know, and he's basically like, um, there was a, uh, I'm assuming a, a, a Arab couple that was in there or whatever. And so when the Arab cu a couple came up to the counter, they told, told the lady, he said that they told the lady that her medication was free, but he had to go up and pay for his shit. <laughs> and he was pissed. He was like, I don't think it's fair. He's like, I'm not trying to sound racist, you know, but I don't think it's fair that they're able to come here and, you know. They're able to, you know, uh, uh, you know, get free shit off of what I've worked for all my life. That's basically was his attitude. So, I mean, he saw us through, man. He's through. You see, these, they're, they're, like I said, these older white men, 70, they're, you know, it, you know, they, these people never used to work, man, into their 70s, man. When you go, you 70 years old, you know. You, you, you got to work to damn near 80. You Basically, you working up throughout your whole entire life just to survive in, a, in, in your kingdom that you, your, your, your forefathers stole. And you're not doing as well. It's not working out for him, man. But, you know, he's talking about leaving where he's staying, getting a smaller place. The taxes are too high. And, you know, before he used to be able to afford all that stuff. But, you know, inflation is kicking the asses. And I just told him, I said, well, man, hey, you know, hey. In so many words, hey, things are not gonna get better, man. And, and your and as far as your granddaughters, you can forget about it, buddy. They're gonna, you know, it's gonna be a bad look for them. And all praises to you. How about Shimmy? I was shot for it, man. We don't feel sorry for them, man, with that shit, man. He seems to be a cool guy. You know, I kick it with him, you know, I talk with him, you know. But in the meanwhile, I can see what he's got going on. You know, I can tell from his conversation that you know he come from that that generation of everything was fine for him. Now he's got crystal white ass hair. He done worked all the way to the end of his life damn near. And now he's got to continue on working just to survive in a kingdom that they stole, man. That's that's terrible, man. And he has no idea that from this point, he's going to, if he dies, he's going he's gonna to be born back into the kingdom in slavery. So he's just done lost three times. <laughs> he's basically like a three-time loser. You're losing in your kingdom. You're, 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 you're gonna lose, <laughs> you know, you're, you're, you just lost, period. Then once you come into that kingdom, you're gonna see that, oh, you and your granddaughters, you and your grandbabies, y'all all going into slavery, man. Y'all all going to, uh, it's not gonna be a good look for any of you. My ex-wife, and she took this, and, and uh, yeah, all right, yep, yeah, mm-hmm, <laughs> all good. It, it, it's beautiful to me, I love it. You see what I'm saying? But like I said, you know, I kick it with him. We talk about certain stuff, you know, but he don't get it, man. He don't understand. He has no idea that what, what's about to happen to his grandbabies. He has no idea. And that goes for you so-called Negroes, too, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You, hey, if the so-called white man got it that rough, then what you think it's going to be like when, when shit hit the fans, man, for you guys, the ones that's actually really hated by these people? What do you think is going to happen to you? See, Jake, we just, you know, we, we want our daily bread. We pray to the Lord for our daily bread. We know that this, this is a day-to-day -day thing for us. We're not looking into the future as far as, like, what, what what's going to happen with our kids and all this other shit. There is no future in this place. This place, The future for this place is nuclear fire. And that's it. We understand that. And we're just patiently waiting, man. We're faithfully and patiently waiting. We pray that we're a part of the elect. We pray that we're part of the one third at least. You know, we're, we're praying, man, to just be a man, just to just clean the toilets in the kingdom, man. I prefer to be whatever, what the lowest point, whatever job in the kingdom. I prefer to be doing that, man, than, than, than to catch that second death, man. So America has no future, man. But like I said again, that guy, he didn't understand. He didn't know what the hell was going on, man. You know, and he still doesn't. But you know, I can tell he had a a genuine worry. He has a genuine worry about his granddaughters, man. Like he has no man. Your granddaughters are about to be ravaged. They're about to be ravaged, bro. 
Motherfuckers is about to go nuts out here. And he has no idea, you know, what's really going on. His own people have set him up to be 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 tortured, man, basically. So, like I said, hey, it's not a good look for them, man. We're just working towards the kingdom. We pray that we make it. And we're just going to continue on doing this work, man, by the power and spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. That's all we can do. Wait, man. Patiently wait. Because the Lord, he's, hey, he, he's going he's gonna to come in on that promise, man. Everything that he told us about, he's not going to break his word, man. It, this work may be tedious. We may go through some things. We're going to go through the straits or whatever. But you better believe he's going to provide for us if he said that he's going to provide for us. We're definitely going to have a, a better heads up than anybody else that don't know about this truth. That's for damn sure, man. So, you know, hey, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, how time to awake out of sleep. You need to repent and repent to the Father, Yahweh, in the name of, of, of his son, Yahweh Shai. The true name of the Father, Yahweh, which means that he exists or the existing one he is to be. The true name of his son is Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the Savior or Deliverer in Paleo-Hebrew. Those are the true names of the Father and Son. You have to know those names. But that's very important. The Lord is not, his name is not Jesus. The letter J is not in Hebrew. It's not in the Hebrew alphabet. Neither is the letter E, the letter O, the letter V, the letter U. None of those letters are in the Hebrew alphabet. They was not calling him Jesus when he walked the earth. The letter J was invented in 1524, about 500 years ago. So if he walked the earth 2,000 years ago, you know that can't be his name. And, and you can't come with that that old, well, it don't matter what his name is. It matters what your name is as a, as a mere human, but the most powerful being in the entire universe that created everything, it doesn't matter what his name is. That is just stupidity, man. So, like I said again, it's our time to awake out of sleep. Repent to the Father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, because these so-called white people are going to see that the Lord is not a white guy and that they've been lied to all their damn lives and you a lot of you so-called blacks Hispanics, and native americans you're going to find that out too but we're letting you know the lord is a dark melanated man the truth of the scriptures man not all these goddamn fairy tales the truth of the scriptures the real good news the good news is that he's coming back for the so-called blacks Hispanics, and native americans which are the true hebrew israelites and that the rest of these these heathenist nations they're going to go they're going under us like we're under them now and we're going to be on top in the kingdom there's going to be a role reversal that's the good news that we're going to be let loose from our enemies because these people are our enemies man here they go they got you still in captivity human traffickers bunch of goddamn hypocrites they got laws on human trafficking but here they go they're holding a whole nation of people in captive and captivity still for hundreds of years bunch of goddamn hypocrites man and they're going to pay for it the scripture talks about that man that that a man sow, that shall he also reap. The Lord is not mocked. Galatians 6 and 7, man. The Lord is going to pay them back for everything that they've ever done, man. So, hey, seeing the, the old white, you know, the old so-called white guy, damn near losing it. Hey, that, that's a beautiful thing to me because I pray for those types of tokens, man. I pray for tokens from, from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Give me some tokens, Yahweh. Show me what, what the, you know, the downfall of these people right before my eyes so I can at least have some enjoyment here. That I get enjoyment out of that, man. So I pray that this lesson was edifying. With that, call me a shalom.